What's up guys, wanted to hop on here real fast just to tell you that I got my heat and air fixed. It wasn't 975, it was 840, which, what's that, $135? I've been out of high school for almost 20 years, but still got my math. Um, so if you've watched any of my other videos that I just posted, I was talking about I'm trying to save $1,000 a month, just trying to build up, you know, just an emergency fund. I'm kind of doing the debt-free journey differently than what it's taught um i've said this in other videos dave ramsey wants you to have a thousand dollar emergency fund and after that you just attack debt i'm trying to do it differently running a cleaning business you just never know when you're going to lose a building business no matter how good you do especially front of the year end of the year middle of the year they sometimes give you no explanation uh, they just want to save some money but right now it's funny the past five, five years like every day i wake up looking for an email or a text message saying hey we need to talk to you and those text messages have only come just a couple of times and luckily it was on smaller businesses but anyways right now while i'm making good money my plan is a thousand dollars a month and i told y'all i had a thousand dollars put back and it's january 31st and last week my heating and air went out Got a quote, 975 parts came in today. He showed up about 10, had it done in about an hour, 840. So my $1,000, I want to have $12,000 by the end of the year. So I'm uh, going to have, I looked at my budget. I'm still going to have about $500, even though it was 840 because uh, I sold some uh, golf clubs on eBay and they are putting the money in my account this week. So it's going to equal out to about 500 by the time I get paid, I put another thousand in there, so I'll be at fifteen hundred. I was hoping to get that eBay money plus the thousand plus I have like twenty five hundred, but you know things happen. Anyways, we've got to stay positive. Got to keep laser focused. I got to keep making videos because I feel like making videos. I'm holding myself accountable. Maybe encouraging somebody else to do something good and rethink their finances, rethink um, the situation they're in, no matter how bad it is. If you hit rock bottom, they always say it's a firm foundation to start growing and start going back up. So if you're at the bottom, you just got to look up. I'm telling you, I've been in a rut for four years of my life mentally. It's all in the head. You think things are worse than what they are. You forget your blessings. You forget how much God has blessed you. You take for granted the good things that's in your life. And you only look at the negative. And when you get in that mindset, it's hard to get out of it. That's what I'm trying to do. I ain't saying I'm out of it, so I can't give you advice on how to get out of it. You just got to do something different. You got to pray a lot. You got to have good, positive people around you, and you got to make a change. If you do the same thing over and over, you're going to get the same results. So it's like if I'm sitting in an old four-wheel drive truck out mudding, and I'm stuck in a rut, and I got her in four low, four high, I'm punching it, and I'm just spinning, I'm never going to get out of that rut until I do something different. I get the old winch out. I get some boards out and I stick up under the tire. My problem is I've just been sitting in the truck with my foot on the gas going nowhere besides getting out and doing something different. And that's what I'm trying to do now. So, hey, set back this month. Heat and air is fixed. So we got heat. That's a blessing. And February is a new month, new budget, new focused. And we're going to grind it out. I'm not going out to eat as much. Not going to go buy no clothes. Not going to go waste no money. I'm going to really try to save this month and try to regain what I lost in january anyways guys god bless y'all let me know how you're doing hope you're having a good year and keep grinding and keep going god bless y'all